Hey guys, just before this video starts, just want to let you know that my sponsor has a fantastic incentive going on at the moment. If you know a haulier that's interested in getting drivers, click the link down below, refer them to my sponsor, and if they sign up, you will receive 100 pounds. 100 quid. <laughs> click the link down below, refer the haulier, get 100 quid if they sign up. That's brilliant. everybody welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching do appreciate it we are here in the yard on a very very sunny Friday late morning uh, I'll just show you the time on my watch I'm even quite how that is uh, it's just gone 10 past 10 in the morning which is a very very late start uh, which also means it's gonna be a late finish today uh, possibly dark by the time we finish uh, anyway there she is there's the truck We've got to go to uh, a place in Swindon, pick up a double-decker trailer, take that trailer to Farham, pick up some pallets, then take those pallets to Birmingham, I believe, somewhere in Birmingham, and then come back. Sounds simple? Anything that sounds simple probably end up not being simple, but, you know, never mind. Uh, we're going to have to deal with a lot of rush hour traffic, more than likely, on the way back from Birmingham, maybe even on the way there. Uh, Obviously, we've got our brakes as well, so, yeah. It's not quite as simple as it sounds, I don't think. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be uh, tricky, I think, to get back in a decent time, but we'll try. We'll try. But there she is, all ready to go. Done the daily checks. And, uh, yeah, we've just got to make our way towards uh, the pickup point now. We're going to grab ourselves the trailer. See you in a bit. You cannot seem to get to me. I am back with a stolen identity You know I see through anything I'm a one man army with a bit of sting You give me no reasons I'm broken Right We are here uh, picking up the trailer so it should be in D yard I actually dropped it off the other day so it might actually be in the same place I dropped it off in Bay 9, 10 or 11 one of them it was a blue double decker so we'll see oh yeah there's a blue one over there look I think I see it already I got the trailer number on me on the paperwork so I can confirm I got the right trailer Hi right, mate, yeah, I've got to pick up a trailer. Yeah, what trailer is that? Uh, 4139-14. Okay, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what trailer that is. <laughs> That's quite funny. What trailer? 431. 42139-14 <laughs> should be that blue one there uh, which is in bay 9 which is I think where I left it 4139-14 uh, yep yeah, that's the one that's the one we're hitching up hitching up to hitching up to so normally what you do before you actually hitch up to a trailer is double check it's okay because there's no point hitching up to it if it's not okay so I've got to go do some checks. Okay, here the trailer is, 42139-14. So, uh, yeah, we basically just go around, making sure it's all okay. Make sure the tyres are inflated and not flat or anything like that. Because the last thing you want to do is take out a trailer which is dodgy. And uh, while I'm here just checking it, I will just put my number plate on. Uh, bear with. There we go, so that's the number plate on as well. Uh, 
I personally like to check inside the trailer as well, just to make sure, you know, oh, look at that. Just to make sure that there's uh, nothing inside, like a spider that I'm scared of. Now I've opened it, I can uh, I can see that there's nothing in here, and it's also a double decker. And it doesn't look like there's anything up the top deck either. That's good. So uh, put the curtain back up and then hitch up. We're good to go. That's the light tester bolt. I was like, what's that? <laughs> um, da -da -da. See about there. Right, so we've got to go to Ferrum now and I've been briefed already by none other than Mr. Kevin T. So that's what, a mile and a half, two mile queue? And you've still got another hour. And there's lots and lots of traffic joining that queue. <laughs> yeah, so well, I've uh, been told by Kevin that there's a lot of traffic on the A34 and the M3, both of which we require. And uh, yeah, I put the put it the destination into the sat nav. And uh, yeah, I can see I can see there's a lot of traffic around Winchester at the moment. You will arrive at your destination yeah. at 12:34. Never mind. Right, anyway, we're good to go. Let's get going. Everything's good. Trailer is on, number plate is on, lights are working, trailer is in good condition. Let's go. We're gonna spend the majority of today in traffic, I think. At uh, pretty much every given opportunity. Do you know what? I ain't going all the way around. Just cut across. I know, I know, I'm a rebel. Um, yeah, we're gonna spend most, most of today is gonna be spent in traffic. I can see it happening. Never mind. Uh, I also need to get AdBlue. What I'm going to do, I got a, I got a um, five litre drum of AdBlue in my passenger locker, and I was going to put it in here, <laughs> but I just forgot. But um, I do want to go and get some food and drink from somewhere. Now I was going to get it from the services before I came here, but they were rammed, so I've come straight here, which means now I have no choice but to get it on the A34 somewhere because um, it'd probably be cheaper getting it there than it would be at Membry or Cheveley. So I'm going to have to stop and get some food and drink because I will be working until quite late tonight, possibly nine o'clock. And um, while I'm there, I can have a 15 minute break and uh, also put the Ablu in, in my passenger locker. That's the plan. And then when I get loaded, while they're loading me, try and get another half an hour break in and then I can drive straight up towards Birmingham. Or I don't get half an hour break in and get half an hour break in somewhere around Swindon again and then drive up to Birmingham and be able to get all the way back as well in one go without needing another break. So I'll probably do that actually. But either way, I still need to get 15 in while I get some food and drink. That's the plan. So. Bear with. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of traffic in this video, and uh, by the end of it, I may not be as happy as I am now because I do not like traffic. I like all this traffic coming from the right. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. No one's letting me out. <laughs> 
It's going to be like this all day today. Oh, he's letting me out. Thank you. And he's in the Type R as well. Type R drivers are nice, aren't they? <laughs> right, let's crack on. Let's get to the services. Have a 15 minute break. services here we come a34 there is a lot of traffic ahead of us on the a34 uh, 22 minutes worth apparently not looking forward to that right HGVs go left so we need to uh, park up get some food look at all those lampposts look they've been hit get some food, get some drink, put Ad Blue in, uh, and get a 15 minute break in. Just a 15 minute, don't want to stay for a whole 45, not yet. I wonder if that car even looked. Not that you would call it a car, but never mind. Right, where are we parking there, Luke? Where are we parking? I mean, that is a space technically just here, isn't it? Where to park? I want to be able to get out easy. That's the problem. Should be able to get out easy enough here. Should. Line up straight. There we go. We're in the box. Uh, yeah, as long as he closes his door, then that should be okay to get out of here. Should. Um, failing that, we'd go that way. And go left. Let's sort it out. Right. Let's get a 15 minute break in now. It's 5 to 12. And, uh, yeah, crack on in a bit. Okay. Break is done. Just need to get some mad blue put in now, and then we'll be off. Before we put the ad blue in, whilst on our break, we went and got some uh, food and drink. So I got a chicken. What did I get? Chicken salad sandwich, Cornish pasty, and then I got uh, two bottles of spring water. So I'll, I'll put all that in my fridge in a sec. Before I do that, I just got to put in the postcode, even though the postcode was already in. I've been having problems with my sat nav recently to the extent that it's actually really starting to annoy me. Um, it keeps basically turning off all by itself. I am not happy about it. And by turning off all by itself, I mean, you'll be driving along, relying on your sat nav, and all of a sudden the screen will turn off and it will restart. And it, will, it might take like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds to restart, and uh, you're, you're without your sat nav. And I'm not gonna lie, I rely on my sat nav probably too much. So, uh, you will arrive at 
Not good. Right, so our destination is back into the sat now. We've got 12 minutes of traffic ahead of us. <sighs> yeah, 10 past one is our ETA there. I'm not actually sure what time I'm supposed to be there. I've got no timings on any of my paperwork to tell me what time I've got to be anywhere other than pick the trailer up at 11 o'clock, which we did. And uh, it should take two hours to get there, which means one o'clock, and our current ETA is 10 past one, including the traffic, so we're not doing too bad for time. Not really. But, uh, oh, never mind. We've had a 15 minute break. We've got to get a half an hour break in at some point before we do four and a half hours drive in. By the time we get there, it's saying that we are less than an hour away. We would have done about two, well, just under two and a half hours driving according to this. Um, which would mean I've got two hours drive time left before I need to have a break. So that's why I'm saying I might drive back up and park probably memory services on the M4. Uh, just before Swindon, or if I can, go past Swindon and park in a lay-by on the A419 or A417, then have a half an hour break, and then I can go straight up and straight back down again without needing to stop. Whereas if I have half an hour break down here, there's a chance I need to get another 45 minutes in somewhere. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see once I get there, I'll make a decision. Um, depends how long it really takes to get to, uh, to Birmingham, but I suspect I'll have a break on the way up. I suspect. Right, let's crack on then. Uh, next stop is where we are actually picking the pallets up from, which is Williams and Co. Let's go. Okie dokie, we're about a mile and a bit away. That bridge just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I am able to get under it, just. Although I will need to go in the middle. Woo! Double decker through an arch bridge. I'm assuming there's the same round here as well. Straight through the middle, please. I'm 16 foot. So I've got six inches to spare. Oh, that does look tight. I didn't expect there to be a bridge there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Yeah, so we're just around the corner now. Um, just over a mile away. I do like this really weird turn around the roundabout. Like going back on ourselves sort of thing. So I'm hoping I'm in the right lane. I mean, I had to go to, across two lanes back there uh, just to get under the bridge. Yeah, we're in the right lane still. We're, we're going right round. Don't come out, mate. Don't come out. Thank you. Thank you. Still going round. And then we want to take our left here. The Roundabout Hotel. Uh, uh, uh. And then is it before we go back onto the M27, we're coming off to go into what I think is an industrial estate. Is it marked up as an industrial estate? No, it's marked up as private road. Ooh. Am I supposed to go in this way? Well, I am. <laughs> this seems very dodgy to me. I'm starting to worry now. See, like, I got a double decker on, which makes it even worse. I'm starting to panic now. This is the way um, the sat nav told me to go in. It's also the way Google Maps told me to go in. 
that's unsuitable for HGVs that way. It, there is an industrial estate down here, I can see it. I have to come in this way, I think. Woo! It's the fact it said private road, it really put me off. Yeah, that's an industrial estate right there. We're in the right place. Stop panicking, Luke. You're in the right place. Massive amount of space now to turn around. Oh man, that really made me panic then. I've had a couple of panics now in the last sort of 10 minutes, about five minutes. Actually, three minutes looking at the GoPro. We're going the right way. Half a mile away, we're looking for a company called Williams & Co. And I do believe uh, when we go onto the road that we get to in a second, they should be on the right hand side. Doesn't look like it's big enough for me to be loaded both sides. Looks like I've got a park up in the middle of the uh, area, if you like, in the middle of the road. And then uh, they load me from one side and then possibly I have to turn it round for them to do the other side. Now there's a lot of vehicles parked up on the road here. I might have trouble getting past all this. There's a van right, oh, my bad. That was my bad, apologies for that. Let me through. This van's struggling to reverse. I think it's possibly because he can't see his trailer. Thank you very much. Yeah, his trailer is very small compared to his van, so you can't see his trailer at all. <sighs> right. Yeah, I've never been down here before, so it's all new to me. This is where we need to be here, on the right-hand side. And we want Williams and Co. Oh man, it does not look like there's a lot of space for me down there. I'll wait for that car to come first. There is not a lot of space for me at all. Okay, there's a W there. There we go, Williams and Co. This is where we need to be. They might want me to reverse up to that, thinking about it. But for now, we're just gonna park here. Okay, I was under the illusion that I could turn around, around there, and I can't. So I'm gonna have to turn around here. Ah, it's gonna be fun. Right, let's go speak to them, find out what the crack is. I'm using my phone to record this because I've just been told that I'm picking up two pallets. Just two pallets. <laughs> I can't believe it. Right, we are loaded. We are fully loaded with two pallets. <laughs> I can't believe we've got just two pallets on. I really can't. Just write down the times I got here. 13, 15 to 13, 40, which means 25 minutes. 13, 15, 13, 40. Mm -mm -mm. And now we are going with these two pallets, three and a half hours away. It's mad. <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Never mind. Right, so let's crack on. We didn't get a break in. Uh, so I'm, I am going to need to have a half an hour break uh, within the next two hours and nine minutes. To be precise, I'm saying bye to them. Um, yeah, within two hours and nine minutes, we need to get half an hour break in. So that should put us up near Swindon. And uh, Hopefully then from there, we can go straight up, take these two pallets off, 
come straight down. That's the plan. Right, I'm not sure which way we're getting out of here. I've just put in postcode on the sat nav and follow the sat nav. I do have a truck sat nav. Even though it's playing up, it should still not take me down dodgy, dodgy roads that I shouldn't be going down at all. Internal straps on this load, on this trailer, not great. So I've had to use my own ratchet straps to uh, secure the load. Or two, two pallets. <laughs> two pallets. That is actually ridiculous. Just two pallets. Right, so there is a weight limit and width limit down the right. Yeah, we knew that already. We're not going down the right. We are jumping straight onto the M27. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I keep forgetting. We're not going to have a break around Swindon because we're not going via Swindon. I just forgot then as well. We're um, going up via Oxford. A34 all the way up to Oxford and then take the M40. That's the way we're going. So we'll try and get a break in like maybe at the services on the M40, Sherwell Valley services. Possibly, if not, it'll be on the A34 somewhere. We will uh, have to wait and see on that. Right. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm going out the same way I came in. Get away. Off we go. Right, make our way back up north then, shall we? I say north, we're going to the Midlands. <laughs> but we are currently south. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report is this. We are now stuck in traffic on the A34. Uh, according to SatNav, we're in 31 minutes of traffic all the way to the M40. And we've just uh, gone past the A420. So all the way from the A420 to the M40 is half an hour, half an hour's worth of traffic. So there, yeah, that's good. Um, also, we're on four hours drive time, so we've only got half an hour drive time left. <laughs> so it's looking like um, I'm going to be parked up in a lay-by on E34 in the traffic, if there's space. <sighs> I, I wanted to get at least into the traffic because I've been watching the sat nav and it's just been building and building and building and getting further and further back. So if I had uh, a break before I got into the traffic, for example, then by the time I finished my break and got back into the traffic, I'd be further back than what I am now. So I'd be losing time. That's my way of working things out anyway. So yeah, we've got to get a uh, half an hour break in. Current ETA with all the traffic is 20 to six at this place we're going to. Uh, but that's not going to be including rush hour traffic come five o'clock. It's 20 past three right now. <laughs> uh, God. We're going to be stuck in traffic. Yeah, we're on, we're on four hours drive time now. So we've got half an hour from now to find a lay-by and park up. To have another half an hour off. And then we can carry on. Hopefully from there, from then on in, we can go straight there, tip, go straight back to the yard. Fingers crossed. Although the more I think about it, the more that might be difficult. No, it should, it should be okay. It should be okay. But, yeah, <laughs> let's, try, let's try for another half an hour. We'll try, try and get as far as we can for another half an hour, then have a break, and then hopefully from there we can get there to, to the delivery, drop off, go back to the yard. In fact, we haven't actually got to go straight back to the yard either. I just remember, we've got to go back to where we picked this trailer up and drop this off first. So I've got to, I've got to allow another half an hour or so for that. Uh... Right, uh, we've got 10 more minutes left of driving time. And we're still four and a half miles away from the M40. There's a parking on a just here. 
So I'm going to put on in and have my half an hour break before I go over my driving time. Bit of rubbish. I, I was hoping to be a bit further than this, but never mind. Here's what it is. Half an hour break. Yeah, it's 20 to 4. Which means simple maths. It's going to be 10 past 4 when we finish our break. Yes, I know I need a break. Stop reminding me. It's on break now. Half an hour. Hi, Bixby. Hello, Bixby. Hi, Bixby. Hi, Bixby. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Ah, timer started. Thank you. Oh, timer is on. Timer is on. There we go. Anyway, yeah, uh, traffic. Pretty busy. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of traffic. We've been in, uh, we've been in all that traffic uh, for about 15 minutes now, 20 minutes, something like that. And oh my God, I just looked at the sat nav. There's still another half an hour traffic ahead. That's our current ETA. You need to add half an hour onto that. So that's 20 to 6. It's going to be 10 past 6 as our current ETA. Uh, but come 5 o'clock, bear in mind it's 14, 15, 41 right now. Come 5 o'clock, there's going to be rush hour traffic. So, yeah, we've still got ages left yet. We're two hours away, give or take. There we go, 1.57. Uh, let's, let's add an extra half an hour onto that for driving time. Oh, ambulance. Which would then leave us with two hours to get back the trailer and get back to the yard which could be pushing it so we'll see we'll see okie dokie so we have 50 well 46 seconds left on break traffic is still rammed lots of traffic um good news however is that this is us right here and that is kev t and uh yeah, we're going to be crossing paths. Where exactly? Probably on the A34, actually, somewhere up there. So, we may see uh, Kevin in a, in a minute. So, let's have a look at the old tacker machine. We have had half an hour break, so we are good to go. And uh, we're waiting until the 10 seconds are up anyway, just so then we know it's fully gone on. Engine on. We've got to try and get out of here now as well in gear okay that's half an hour up let's close that down indicate and try and get out we might not be let out just got to try and make myself look prominent but not cross the line <laughs> it looks like that car is letting me out Doo -doo -doo. Very kind of him if he is. I was not expecting to be let out straight away. Yeah, he's letting me out. Thank you very much. Make sure our trailer clears that truck. Yes, it does. He's been here longer than I have. He must be having a 45. So yeah, we're uh, we're heading off, there's still, there's just, there's so much traffic, man. There's an hour's worth of traffic in front of us. There's going to be traffic all the way there. Oh, I hate traffic so much. Okay, so we are still in traffic. It's sort of like very stop-go at the moment. You will arrive at your destination at 8019. And my sat just reset again. Uh, Mr. T is going to be here any second now. So, uh, with a bit of luck, we'll see him in a sec. Can't be too far away. Now, my boss said to me that I would be back by nine. <laughs> I can't see that happening. I really can't. There's so much traffic ahead. Saturn have just reset itself again. There, there is so much traffic ahead. And come five o'clock, it's only going to get worse. So I don't, I don't have much hope. I'm going to be back before nine o'clock. I reckon 
like 10, possibly even 11 before I'm back, which is fine. I didn't start until 10 o'clock, so it's just a normal day, isn't it? A normal shift. Not the end of the world. Mr. T is getting very close. I'm looking at the, uh, the tracker. So yeah, hopefully when we get to this place, I've been told that it's very busy. And when I get there, the first thing I'm gonna go is, oh, there's loads of trucks. <laughs> but I'm hoping they can uh, get me off quickly. I'm gonna be that annoying person that goes, I've only got two pallets, mate, you've only got two pallets. I'm gonna be that annoying person. I want these pallets off ASAP so I can get back ASAP. But who knows what time I'm gonna be back. It's all an estimate at the moment. Like I said, I've got to drop this trade off as well. So, it's all in air really, as to what time I'm gonna get back. I just don't like sitting in traffic. I just, I just see it as wasted time. Someone's caused an accident and it's impacted my day. I mean, hopefully they're all all right. But it's, you know, at the end of the day, it has impacted my day. Is that in there? No, I thought that was in there then. I thought that was him there. Oh, by the way, real quickly, um, Mercedes, Actros, truck, mirrorless. Gonna be uh, test driving one for a few days at work, like doing my actual job. Uh, they very kindly allowed me to uh, review one. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Go on there, beat your horn. <laughs> that's obvious he's gonna do that. He always does that. Yeah, they very kindly allowed me to uh, to review one. Um, brand new 69 plate. I am, no, I was gonna get into lane one then, but I am overtaken. Brand new 69 plate. Uh, not even uh, been off, what's the word I'm looking for? Not really been, it's not even been driven yet. It's, it's literally brand new. Oh, we're in more traffic. More traffic. I've got a car down the left side, I can't pull over. Diverted traffic for the north, use A43. Am I going north? Not really, am I? Yes, yeah, basically, stay tuned for uh, some Mercedes Actros mirrorless truck video in. Because uh, I'm going to be test driving one for a few days. We've got it for a whole week, um, but I think I'm only going to have it for like two days, maybe three days. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's crack on. 10 minutes of traffic now. We're in. you join me around about an hour and 40 minutes later after we uh, left that lay-by is that car going to try and get down the side of me nope he's not good yeah you join me about an hour and an hour and 40 minutes or so after we left that lay-by we are just around the corner from where we need to be Woo! sun is out really sunny out nice pub there heron helms Nice. Anyway, six o'clock in the evening right now. Although it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like it's like midday, doesn't it? Kind of feels like it's midday because I started late. Like normally I start at like three, four in the morning. So it does. It does uh, feel like it's earlier than it actually is. Now this is a relatively tight left-hand turn. Let's just take this turn. We're going through a 20 area, which doesn't look like it's designed for lorries, but never mind, we're coming down here anyway. There's a wee limit there, not this way. Um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it's as late as it actually is. Um, I personally am probably going to start feeling tired when it actually gets dark. And um, sunset today is just after 8 o'clock. I can't remember exactly when it is, but it's just after eight o'clock. I'm bound to get some sort of uh, going dark time lapse later on in this video, so I look forward to seeing that. Right, we're just on the corner, three quarters of a mile. 
There's a low bridge there. We do not want to go that way. This can't be the way in, surely. It's a very large industrial estate and I'm going through a house at the state. I can't, I can't see this being the right way of going in. But hey, it's the way I'm gone, so <laughs> not a lot anyone can do about it now. There was no sign saying I couldn't come down this way. There we go. Prologis Park. Weight limit, width limit, half a mile ahead. Prob probably why we didn't go the other way then. But where, where does it mean ahead? Down there or down there? I'm going to assume down there it means. Prologis Park. Right, we want the Pallet Network or TPN. Yeah, TPN. TPN, that big yellow building there. Not that it's yellow, but you know what I mean. The writing is yellow. TPN, 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 goods vehicles. Oh wow, there's loads of trucks in there. Oh man, there's trucks in there with curtains open that are fully loaded still. Hmm. We've only got two pallets. Please take them off for me. Oh, that sun's gonna be in my eyes now. Please don't ask me what I've got on because I do not know what I've got on. I don't know what the pallets actually are. Safety boots, high vis. No smoking, blah, 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 blah. Same as usual. I'm going to need to get my high vis on. Right. Got a massive uh, <laughs> new to sight bit of paper to put in the windscreen. Just to tell everybody that I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. Got some sort of barcode there as well, QR code thing. I don't know if they need that. Right. So I realise that this noise is annoying, even though I'm going to be stopping in a sec. I will just put the seatbelt on. Oh, hazards on. Don't forget the hazards. So, forklift has taken one pallet off now. Um, he, he come over, he goes, just the one? I was like, nah, two, there's one on the other side. He goes, what? <laughs> yeah, I told him where I'd come from and he couldn't quite believe it himself. Um, so yeah, he's taking one pallet off, just waiting for the other one to be taken off now. Put in the destination on where we're going, it's gonna take uh, two hours to get there, so it should put us on four hours. And then fingers crossed we can get the trailer off and get back just before four and a half hours. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, could be pushing it. A little bit annoying because it might mean we need to have a 45 minute break. Like less than half an hour away from the yard. So it's a little bit annoying. Now, I don't know where he signs the paperwork or if he does. Uh, I don't know whether I can do the curtains up here or anything. I hope he's going to come and see me. All the way from Southampton to here. Yeah. And uh, have you got to go back there? No, I've got to go back to Swindon now, so not too bad. Okay. Where do I get this signed? And I've paid you up so back. Where do I close the uh, curtains? There as well. No worries. There's two bits there. Have you just uh, sign at the bottom? Uh, print sign. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. So we're all done. Oh, I can't get this in now. If I put you there and uh, I'll come round and do this curtain first. Hello. Put that up 
there. Not that you can see what I'm doing, but never mind. Right, that's that one done. And uh, we'll just close this one up now. That sun is, uh, sun is definitely bright. <laughs> is bright so around the building 10 mile an hour speed limit I am going to put my seatbelt on when I go straight here we go before the beeps kicked in lovely jubbly gotta wait for the gates to open anyway Thank you very much. Excellent, hazards off. Now we can get going. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be home before half past nine, which is uh, not the end of the world, considering the boss said I'll be back by nine o'clock. Now, uh, in actual fact, um, he could be right. <laughs> Back in the yard by nine, but literally nine o'clock. All right, let's go. the camera that I've not got enough space on my SD card which I think is a lie <laughs> pretty sure I do and also you might be able to tell the LED light behind me is getting quite bright so I am glad that we're here now because if, uh, if I had to go much further I would have had to stop to turn that light off it's starting to illuminate the road signs <laughs> which is not good might be dazzling other road users so uh, because we're uh, literally coming off now and going to be there in the next mile or so i shall leave it for a second and uh, adjust it once we get to the place which is just around the corner so yeah um drive time we're on three hours and 50 minutes of drive time which means we got 40 minutes left um which is plenty we're uh, less than five minutes away from where we need to be and it's less than 20 minutes back so We've, uh, we've got plenty of drive time, that's good. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, plenty of working time, so we don't need to have any brakes, which is good. That was one of the things I was worried about, whether or not I needed to have any more brakes. But no, we're good. All good. There's B&Q over there, look. We do work for B&Q. Bus lane is active between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., which means we can use the bus lane because the time right now is just gone half past eight in the evening. Ah. <sighs> So, yeah, today's not been too bad, considering we started at 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to be back about, I don't know, maybe 20 past, not now. Quarter past nine, late, latest. Depends when we leave here. Yeah, don't take too long to get back, so. Uh, depends how much filming I do on site. But we'll be back between nine and quarter past nine. Uh, back in Quick Aid, so uh, all in all, We've done, we'll, we'll have done about 11 hours, 45 minutes, if that. Hang on, did I just work that out right? No, 11 hours, 15 minutes. <laughs> Mathematics. 
You ask any of the road legends about my mathematics, <laughs> they'll tell you it's rubbish. Oh dearie dearie. Right, so, if you remember rightly, this morning when we picked up the trailer, a uh, security bloke asked what I was doing there, what I was picking up. Hopefully he just lets me in this time. Or she, because there is a, a female on this uh, security post. Been here a few times to pick up stuff. It's just a stockyard. People um, pay, or different companies pay to store their stuff there. So it's just a just a stockyard that's owned by Howard Tennings, which is they own most of this around here, I believe. But yeah, a lot of the trucks that come down here end up going down there as well. Like him. We've got to try and put this in the exact same bay we picked it up from, which I can't remember the number now. Was it like number nine, wasn't it? I think it was number nine. Pretty sure it was. Uh, uh, uh. And of course today's Friday, so after this it's bank holiday weekend. Although I do need to wash the truck, so I might be popping in tomorrow, Saturday, and uh, washing the truck. I would have done it today, but um, by the time I'm back in the yard it is actually going to be pitch black. So I'm not going to be able to see. And I've washed the truck before in the dark. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. Right. You are supposed to get in the left-hand side lane when there's a speed bump there, so I do this. Go in the middle and then get on over. Yeah, should be able to park it in the exact same place we picked it out from. Looking over there. Oh, I need that blue again. Aha, they Ooh, let go too early. They must uh, recognise the truck. That uh, five litres bad blue I put in is uh, is ran out. It ran out on the uh, way back down, and uh, I've just got into reduced power mode, so I will need to put that in now before I leave. Right. See if we can make this a bit easier on ourselves by doing this. Bait. Yeah, it was Bay 9, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a there was a space. So we will put it back into Bay 9. Um, it is dark. It makes it a little bit harder to see the lines. much. I'm going to go to the left a bit more. There we go. I've got to be careful here because there are no uh, bollards stopping you from hitting the fence behind. Right, so, we're going to try and multitask here. This might go wrong, but uh, we'll soon find out. Help if I end on my passenger door, wouldn't it? We're going to uh, put the ad blue in while we're unhitching the trailer. So it might work, it might not. We're certainly going to try and find out. <laughs> this might save a little bit of time, that's all. So, let's go our second and last 
5 litre drum of our blue. There we go. I'm going to put the lids in the side locker just in case they do rumble off because when I start the engine in a sec the catwalk is going to shake and vibrate but yeah yeah that'll do for now <sighs> right so that's the uh the ad blue going in let's start unhitching So we start with the brakes, we put the legs down. So brakes are done, legs are done, then we need to do the airlines. Okay, brakes, legs, airlines. Ugh. Dog clip, kingpin, and then we drive on out. Hopefully with the ad blue still going in. Not that you can really see me very well, but uh, the trailer is now off as you can see. I'm just putting the last amount of ad blue in. There we go, that's all that's going in. That's it for today's video. Uh, all we've got to do now is drive back to the yard, which will take about 20 minutes or so maybe 15 minutes. There's the back of my truck light when it's dark out. We've got all the lights that go up the cab. Looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. I'm gonna jump on up. I've, uh, I've already made the LED sign behind me darker. Well, I say darker. I just mean not as bright. <laughs> so uh, yeah. We're done. Uh, gonna have to end the video here because you're not gonna see me because it's too dark out now. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Got, a, got some miles under us today for two pallets. I still can't believe that. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna head back to the yard now. Uh, 35 minutes of drive time left and about 15 minutes away. So, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Uh, I will see you soon. Bye bye.